How's it going guys? My name is KC and I didn't feel like making a whole video with a detailed explanation as to why I haven't uploaded for like three weeks, so instead I'm gonna just keep it short and sweet. Technical difficulties, specifically with my PC. The CP radiator died on me and I had to get it replaced. The bearings in the fan went out, the pipe bursted, it had a, a small little fracture in it. There was even some drops of liquid that were found at the bottom of my case. I don't know how none of it got onto any of the components, but I'm not complaining. In fact, that's a, a goddamn miracle. Anyways, I got a new CPU cooler. The Corsair H60, which is a straight upgrade. And speaking of upgrades, as the title of this video suggests, my CPU cooler isn't the only thing that got upgraded. Yes, folks, your eyes do not deceive you. I got me a 1080p monitor. I got this thing for my 18th birthday this month. From the first video that I've ever uploaded, all the way back in 2018, till the Blood and Iron Funny Moments and Epic Fails video that I recently made, I have been using a 1366 by 768 monitor. And just re-watching all of those videos on my new 1080p monitor, they look pretty bad in my opinion. Yes, I know they're all pretty well made, I've gotten compliments on how well edited my videos are, but the quality just no longer sits with me now that I'm watching them in this this brand new high definition 1080p monitor and in fact the reason why i made this video is basically it's nothing more than just a test recording to see how all my videos from here on out are going to look now that i'm actually recording and rendering them at 1080p with an actual 1080p monitor so what i'm going to do is just play some warframe specifically the daily sortie and if you, for those of you who aren't familiar with Warframe, sorties are special sets of missions that loyalty issues, Taro, my Zanuga project. We'll fix that for you. Okay, yes, thank you, Alad V. Uh, they're special sets of missions with escalating difficulty. We're talking level 50 to 100. Look, level 50 to 60, level 65 to 80, and then 80 to 100. I do remember doing a video where me and a friend speed ran a sortie, so if you watch that video, maybe you're familiar with sorties, maybe not. Alright, I'm going to just shut up and get started. So, we're doing Spy on Jupiter. Now, here's the thing. I still have no idea how to do any of the spy vaults on the Jupiter Gas City tile set that was recently remastered in um, May, I believe. Yeah, that's when the update came out. Give me a second, guys, while I just gear up to fight the Corpus. Here's the Cat's Moon build that I'll be using. AKA the Deleter, because, you know, I, I, I gave the gun this name myself. It, it The name pretty much speaks for itself. The thing deletes everything that it shoots. Like, it, it literally deletes everything that it touches. It, it's, it's a monster. If I may say, Operator, your chosen Warframe suits I'm going to use the gas build on my Glaxion Vandal that I got from Operation Hostile Mergers. By the way, aren't you guys impressed with how far I've come in this game? Like, don't you remember when I first uploaded my video of um, playing Warframe for the first time? And look at me now. Mastery Rank 17. I've got me Rhino Prime, a whole bunch of other Primes in my arsenal. I'm pretty stacked. If you haven't guessed already all right guys so here we are this is the newest tile set that was added to the game in may so i have no idea how any of these new corpus Tenno, tile sets work so i'm not even gonna bother going into any of the three spy vaults because I'm, like I'm not gonna have any idea what i'm doing and i'm going to end up accidentally triggering the alarms and failing the mission for everybody so i'm gonna just stay out here and kill stuff and let the rest of my squad uh handle spy vaults for me i don't want to bore you guys with me just running around the towel set looking for enemies to kill so i will see you guys after the mission all right guys so all three of the vaults have been hacked no alarms triggered nothing it was a pretty clean run and now, we're going back to extraction. I 
can't reach him from here. All right. Complete three spy missions. That's a Nightwave challenge. All right, guys. So here we are at the second mission of the sortie. This is an exterminate. Just kill everything that's not a Warframe. Pretty easy. And it's easily speed runnable also. The enemies here have augmented enemy shields, but as you can see, still no match for the Deleter. It just completely disregards their shields. Oh shit, I gotta reload. Alright, and we're locked out. Awesome. Exactly what I needed. Exactly what I fucking needed. You're shooting at the wall and not me. 10 out of 10 AI. We got somebody still alive right here, and now he's dead. Alright, come on guys, open this. All the fires. So no match for the deleter. And my iron skin just went out. Alright. <laughs> you see, I, I put the, the gas build on my Glaxion Vandal because gas damage completely ignores Corpus shields. So it's great for fighting the Corpus. Hey you guys, what's happening? My Rhino World buff went out, that's why those guys took so long to kill. This isn't even a battle, they're getting annihilated. The enemy is broken. Well done. Now get to extraction. Alright. Time to head to extraction. Light work. I got the least amount of damage taken because iron skin. And I killed a lot of them. The most out of everybody in this group. Alright, now for the last mission. Alright guys, so here we are at the, the last and final mission. Okay, look. <laughs> this thing can one-shot the wardens. Alright, nice. Where's the last one? Uh, but this is a rescue mission. Just gotta rescue the hostages before they get killed. I hear the last warden over here somewhere. There he is, and now all all the wardens are dead. These two guys got those two um holding cells. And there's the hostage. So the conditions in this mission are radiation hazard. But um I don't have to worry about that because I have iron skin on. And any damage dealt to me is gonna be dealt to my iron skin and not my health. And when my iron skin is destroyed, I can just recast it and keep it rolling. It hurts. Oh shit, they it took hurts. down the hostage. Sorry guys, I uh, gotta get this hostage back up. I think the radiation hazards got to her, that's why she went down. You know, isn't the hostage supposed to teleport to us? Okay, whatever. We won. And I got 6,000 Kuva. Nice. GG. But yeah, that's how sorties work. Three missions and you get a random ass reward at the end of them. Right, time for the outro. Well guys, that will officially conclude this test video. Let me know if it looks good to you guys in the comments down below, and for those of you wondering what 1080p monitor I'm using, it's the Acer SB220Q 21 inch monitor, I know that was a mouthful. And for those of you who don't want to spend more than $100 on a new monitor, 
I definitely recommend this one because it's a damn good monitor and you can pick it up for only 90 bucks. I'll leave the Amazon link in the description down below. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope y'all enjoyed. Take care and I will see you in the next one. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. Alright, see y'all later.